Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV this week. A lot of new stuff is coming out, man. We're getting rid of some old stuff. Yep. Cleaning house. Spring cleaning. Broom time. Dust pan. Look out now. Vacuum cleaner. Windex. <laughs> Welcome to Text Nation TV. It's episode number 49. My name's Rusty G. I'm Alan. Almost 50. Wow, we're getting there. Yeah, you sorry. Lose a little. Don't, 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 don't. Uh, yeah, we've been doing this for about two years. But again, uh, this week, a lot of new things are coming out. And we want to kind of, like Alan said, get rid of the old. Yep. Uh, so we're going to start off with the biggest, I think, uh, this past week was OnLive. Uh, if you don't know anything about it, OnLive is basically just gaming through the internet via a little box instead of a console full-size console mm -hmm. it's just having a you know a gaming remote and all your stuff is served via the internet versus buying a hard disk having to worry about breaking a disk or anything like that's all served through the internet well this was a big thing when it first started it was awesome yeah. you know um, it's kind of like the new uh, Kickstarter project with the, the the new $99 game set via Android it's kind of like that but uh, everything was supposed to be big name titles and stuff like mm -hmm. that running through the internet instead of getting a hard disk, like I said. Well, apparently this company was not doing so well in the sales and things like that, and the company wasn't doing well. It looks like they had about $30 million in debt. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it was a good idea. They just didn't do any due diligence. I mean, I've got games right here. Yeah. And, and that's where the new $99 one's coming around yeah. is because they know games are here, but they want them back on the big you, screen. you got to sell me away from this. Yeah. So OnLive apparently had $30 million in debt, has filed for <laughs> bankruptcy, things like that. Has not been a good week for OnLive. Mm -hmm. HTC pulled out. They had $40 million in debt with them, so HTC pulled out the game. Of course, HTC isn't doing well as either, which yeah. I don't understand why because they had some really good phones. But... Neither here nor there. HTC pulled out. Uh, there's questions as to what's going to happen. There's a the same CEO that they're having. I think is going to do a rebranding or a reboot, however you want to call it. Um, keeping the same name. That's the odd thing. They're keeping the same name, and they're going to kind of revamp things. So they know yeah, that's um, Coke tried that in the '80s. <laughs> They didn't work well. Yeah, they're they're gonna be revamping. They've fired some people, rehired some people. There's a lot of stuff going on. We don't know the future of on live, but you know, here's hoping because it is a gaming platform, as it were. Not so much as big as the PlayStation Three, the Wii, or the Xbox Three Sixty. That's it. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what you gotta fight against. So, is it worth fighting against that? No. Who really knows? Sell whatever you can <laughs> to any of those companies. Like, if you got something special that they don't have in their box. Sell it. <laughs> Get out. Start over. So that's that's the old being broomed out, as it were. So we do want to talk about the new stuff coming in, though. Uh, well, it's a it's an old product, but they're hoping that in on September sixth, actually, Amazon's going to announce a new Kindle. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah, color teleportation, something. <laughs> at this at this point, got to compete with. B b uh, was it Barnes and Noble? Yeah, Nook, yeah. And just everybody has an e-reader. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Google Nexus Seven. You know, you got to compete against that. You got the supposed rumored iPad Mini coming around. Mm -hmm. You know, there's all these tablets out there, so there's no real wow factor so much anymore. And there's no way it can be over three hundred dollars. Yeah, if it goes over three hundred, people aren't going to buy it. No. I mean, I bought the Amazon Kindle Fire for my mother. I think I will definitely buy the Kindle Fire Two, whatever that may be. Uh, they might even have new e-reader tablets. I mean, e-reading is pretty much almost, it's getting to the point of being a standard because it's at Target, it's at Best Buy, it's everywhere. Yeah. I mean, if you have a book now, you're, you're a rebel. <laughs> <laughs> or just a true at heart, you know, bookworm, whatever it may be. You know, I can't stand reading on a color screen. I, I've bought books through Amazon and they're on my iPhone via the Kindle app and I've tried to read them on my mother's Kindle Fire. I kind of like the idea of having the black and white grayscale because it's easier on the eyes, I think, and longer battery life and all that stuff. So I might end up getting a Kindle reader down in the future. Well, with this, I'll start reading, but if I tap this home button twice, I've got other <laughs> options. <laughs> so yeah, it, 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 yeah. 
If you want to read, get just a reader. Yeah, but rumors uh, shooting around, like I said, like you said, September the 6th. Be looking for that. Amazon's new event. Pay attention for that. Also coming around the corner, and September is going to be a big month for technology. It's going to be a huge month. Uh, T-Mobile, starting September the 5th, they're going to be doing their unlimited plan. And it's going to be truly unlimited like Sprint is. No blocking, no throttling, none of that stuff. You, can, I don't, I don't have the prices in front of me. I did not pull that information, but you can look it up. Uh, they're gonna go fully, truly unlimited. The only problem is, it's I was, yeah, it's T-Mobile. I was telling a friend of mine, <laughs> they don't have LTE. They've got HSPA plus. Yeah. Not so much. I mean, it's good speed, better than 3G, but it's also not LTE. Verizon, AT and T. They have LTE. Sprint is starting to get certain areas of LTE. Cricket has LTE. Cricket has LTE? Holy crap. Uh, I mean, that's the point, is you got to be LTE. And, and um, Well, they're jumping off Sprint, so when Sprint gets... Yeah. So, unfortunately, because T-Mobile kind of expected to be bought out by AT&T and not have this problem, they had no plans for LTE. They were like, oh, well, AT&T is going to buy us out. That didn't happen. So, yeah. here they are with no LTE. Uh, so the Dutch company, or Deutsche Telekom as they put it, I, I don't know about that side of the world. I don't know if they have LTE on that side for Deutsche Telekom, but I just know here in the USA, not so much. Our so. new Scotland friend, you comment below, let us let us know what's happening over there. <laughs> uh, tell us what else is coming out in September. Also, September 5th, when you get bored looking at T-Mobile. <laughs> Head over to Nokia. They're going to be introducing the code name right now, Fee and Arrow Lumia products. Yeah, it looks. Rusty can tell you about Lumia products. Yeah, I had one, and I I, I uh, underlined the word had. <laughs> <laughs> I had the Lumia 800. It was a great phone. Did you did you, you get a chance to play with it a few minutes? You know, yeah, the, you sc the screen was great. The darks were. It's kind of like my plasma TV at home. You know, it had real dark darks, crisp lines. Yeah. Compared to the iPhone or my Sprint that's on the ground right now. This, the Lumia had the best screen yeah. for video. It and really nice. we're looking at the drawings and things like this. Yeah, you can see those there. Uh, kind of looks exactly like the Lumia 800 or 900, however you want to look at that. Mm -hmm. It looks almost exactly like it might have a curved glass instead of a flat glass this time. That's part of the rumor. We don't know. Uh, obviously, the new Windows Mango 8, I believe, is going to be what it is instead of Windows 7, uh, what it was before, because it's now up to 7.5. I think that was... Uh, the latest update. Don't get me on the Mango or whatever it is. I, I forget the code names. I just remember it's going to be Windows 8 releasing. So uh, that'll be really cool to see. So that's another, you know, if you're looking for a new phone and you can't wait till September, you know, 21st for the new iPhone, mm -hmm. you know, you want to try something different, go for the Lumia. See what they've got coming up. It's not confirmed. Again, another rumor, but we're pretty much set on seeing this new phone. So uh, tell us anything else that September is a big month for. Can't think of anything? Uh, September today, the FCC gave the okay for Verizon to pretty much become a um, kind of a cable company. <laughs> yeah. I say kinda because, you know, they got a partner with uh, Comcast and all those other ones. But yeah, they got the approval that. But what's funny is they said um, they can sell cable TV where they're not allowed to sell. Bios TV, which is better. <laughs> hey, I got Verizon, but I can't. Uh, you. <laughs> exactly. Why? Well, just moved to Kansas City. Well, they could sell their Comcast slash Verizon deal here in Nashville, which I think they already do before this whole deal we got approved. We have nothing here. Yeah, bring it all, bring it all over here. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. So FiOS versus cable, you know, it's just it's one of those things, you know. I guess the company thought, oh, Comcast is red. We're red. Let's smash them together and make something. So yeah, Nobody will see it. <laughs> so, yeah, if, if you have in a hometown where Comcast and Verizon are already together, I've seen some shots of the vans with the Verizon logo and the Comcast stuff on the side. If you've got pictures, you know, let us know. Put a link or something. Show us. Let us know because I just think it's kind of odd. But, uh, you know. Uh, and one last thing that we did want to talk about, and because we're both AT&T, and I'm really about ready to be done with them, <laughs> AT&T is about to get iPhone 5 in September, mm -hmm. which we're expecting. 
We're about to get iOS 6, which is already out in developers' hands. We've seen people messing with it, doing what, what it does. We already know. FaceTime over 3G is going to happen. Problem. AT&T says you can, but only if you upgrade to our newest plans, which sucks <laughs> because you have to upgrade to their newest unlimited share plan or something or other, which gets expensive. We've talked about it before. Unless you get to like four or five phones, does it become economical? For those of us on two or three, not so much. Yeah. And especially for those of us that have the unlimited grandfathered in plan, like I do, I still have the $30 unlimited whatever. So from my understanding, because Verizon did this for a friend of mine, Verizon actually, he had one of the unlimited plans that was grandfathered in as well. When he switched from a 3G phone to a 4G phone, they did not change his unlimited. So I'm hoping if I, if I get the iPhone, or as I've tweeted out, if it isn't what it's all it's gonna be cracked up to be, I may go to a Samsung Galaxy 3, or Galaxy S3, or the HTC One X, one of those two LTE phones. Because LTE, thank God, finally came to Nashville. We've got it. Uh, but if I switch, I'm hoping AT&T keeps my unlimited as well so that I still have unlimited data and I'm gonna wear it out. Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, whatever I can do, I'm gonna do it, so. Yeah, just get the iPhone 5, put your SIM card in and do it anyway. Yeah. I mean, well, yeah. all they can do is send you a text message. Hey, yeah. <laughs> we know about this. Yeah, so there's a big stink about it right now uh, from the free press side, from everybody on this side saying net neutrality, net neutrality, you can't do this, this is against the rules, FCC set up rules, and at and like, well, no, we didn't. There's a whole blog article over on GigaOwn that I think was actually pretty great about this. I'll put a link up right here that you can see. Uh, go and read this article. Go and check it out. It's basically saying that they're putting up a red herring and mm -hmm. trying to get you off the trail that, no, that's not what we're doing. We're doing this instead. It's like, no, no, no. Let's go back to the actual thing. You're not allowing FaceTime over 3G if you have your old plan. Well, we don't want to upgrade, so you're technically telling us no. So... Yeah, AT&T, I swear to you, I'm thinking about going to Verizon for the more crap that you keep doing. But anyway, so that's pretty much all we had this week. We're going to keep it uh, hopefully under 20 minutes this time around. So. Uh, I think so. That's probably what your attention span can handle. That's all we can handle because we'll start looking around the room and everything. But after September is October. We got some news for October. We do. So stay tuned just after all of this. Before we go to the static, we'll have a promotion for you. We have an announcement. Please stick around for that. And we've got some really great news for you. So um, make sure you follow us online. We've got multiple places, like I've always said, starting out. YouTube.com slash TV. As is a friend, Facebook.com slash TV. For those of you on Twitter, you can follow us, Twitter.com slash TV. And you pinners out there, I've seen some repins of my stuff. That's okay, because I got it from somebody else. <laughs> but you go to Pinterest.com slash TV. <laughs> and the other news, uh, before I say gplus.to slash TV, uh, which I already did, but it's fine, Google Plus is actually about to release some vanity URLs. So hopefully soon we'll be able to say plus.google slash TV. But right now it's still gplus.to slash TV. And add us into your circles. Tell your friends. Spread the word. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe. Friend, whatever it is that you do, and we'll see you again for episode number 50. 50. All right, guys, we want to tell you a real quick promotion. What we've got coming up here in the near and dear future, just before Halloween, if you guys want to show up, we're going to be in Cool Springs, and we're going to be at the Marriott there in Cool Springs. We've got GMX coming up. That's right, Geek Media Expo. That's right. We're going to be there. Make sure you check it out, whatisgmx.com. Uh, we're going to be there doing our thing. We're going to be covering as much geek as we can from video games to board games, card games, anime, robots, people dressed up. Yeah, we're coming costume. Also, Billy West is going to be there. If you don't know Billy West, then you're just not watching enough TV. <laughs> also, Veronica Belmont from Revision 3's Techzilla. We're going to try and sit down and talk with her. We've got all sorts of stuff coming up, so make sure you check it out. What is gmx.com? TextNationTV will be there. We'll be covering it for you.